Hello everyone, my name is Tejas and welcome back to my channel Self Study with Tejas. And if you are passionate about computer science and aiming to excel in the ICSO exam, then you are in the right place. So today we are going to learn ICSO Chapter 7, Introduction to Cube Basic. So watch the video till the end and let's start. So chapter number 7, Introduction to Cube Basic. So Cube Basic means Quick Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Now question number 1, which of the following can be considered as components of a Cube Basic window? So A menu bar, so yes. Option number B, name of the current program and C, status bars. All, all are there, which means our correct answer here will be option number D. Now second question, in QBasic, description and comments are put in the source program with the dash statement A print, B input, C R E M or D C L S. So our correct answer here will be R E M as R E M is a, a remark that allows comments. So our correct answer here will be option number C R E M. Now third question, which of the following is a valid numerical variable name? So, as in cube basic, variable name should always start with letters. So, our correct answer here will be option number A, M8. So, fourth question, which of the following operators will combine two string constants? So, our correct answer here will be option number B. Now, fifth question, which of the following statements is correct for a variable? So, A, Variable name can begin with any letter of the English alphabet. So yes, this is correct. Now option number B, name of variables that store alphanumeric value must end with a dollar sign. So yes, this is also correct. Now option number C, variable name can begin with a special character. So no, this is incorrect, which means our correct answer here will be option number D, both A and B. Now sixth question, character set in Q basic includes in numeric digits, so yes, this is correct. B letters, so yes, this is also correct. Now, C special characters, so yes, this is also correct. Which means the correct answer here will be option number D, all of these. So, seventh question, you can press dash to, to select the file menu. Then from the drop down menu, select new option by pressing dash. So, to uh, go to select the file menu, we have to press Alt plus F. Uh, then after that, uh, from the drop down menu, we have to press N to select the new option. So, our correct answer here will be option number A. Now, eighth question. My name is Anurag is an invalid string constant because so this is because uh, double quote, uh, sorry double strings are not allowed in computer language. So our correct answer here will be option number B. Quotation marks are not allowed inside the string area. So ninth question, which among the following is an invalid numeric constant and why? So here in option number 3, A slash 84 slash B is invalid because alpha numerics are not allowed. So our correct option here will be option number C. Now 10th question, select the incorrect match. So let assignment statement, so yes this is correct. Now B, 4 dash next loop, so yes this is also correct. Now option number C, if then else. Conditional statement says this is also correct. Now print input statement. So no, this is incorrect because print is an output statement, not input statement. So our correct answer here will be option number D. Now 11th question, which command is used to clear the output screen? So A, CLS, B, clear, C, delete or D, erase. So CLS, uh, so our correct answer here will be CLS and the full form of CLS is clear screen. So, our correct answer here will be option number A. So, 12th question, what would be the output of the following code? CLS, let A is equal to 10, print I am A Anaya. So, the value of A is 10. So, here after I, there is gap. So, it is only an option number B and C. After that, M and there is gap between the A or we can say it as 10. So, in option number C, there is no gap, which means our correct answer here will be option number B. Now, 13th question, which of the following numeric variables is invalid? A, MG, B, PS5, C, 58A, or D, both A and B. So, we have said that the uh, numeric value should always start with letters, not numbers. So, our correct answer here will be option number C. Now, 14th question, QBasic is a programming language developed by... 
सो ए एम आई टी बी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सी एप्पल और डी स्टैंड फॉर सो क्यू बेसिक इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विच इज डेवलप बाय माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो और करेक्ट आंसर ईयर विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी ना फिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन वॉट वुड बी द आउटपुट ऑफ द गिवन कोड फर्स्ट नेम इज इक्वल टू मेघा एंड लास्ट नेम इज इक्वल टू शर्मा सो प्रिंट फर्स्ट नेम प्लस लास्ट नेम so they have said plus which means they will come combined no, there will be no space there which means sir correct answer here will be option number a so achieve our section question number 16 what is the output of the given program clear screen let x dollar is equal to national let y dollar is equal to cyber and let z dollar is equal to olympiad now print x dollar y dollar and z dollar so in q basic if semicolon is written with print statement then it will print next value immediately after the last value which means our correct answer here will be option number d national cyber olympiad now 17th question what would be the output of the given code clear screen let b is equal to 15 if b mod 2 is equal to 0 then print even number as print odd number and if so mod operation give, give will give the remainder so if we divide b by 2 which means 15 by 2 we will get the remainder of 1 which is an odd number so our correct answer here will be option number b So 18th question given below is an arithmetic expression which of the following parts of the expressions will be calculated first in the q basic so in q basic first exponential expressions then division and multiplication expression and at and at the last addition or subtraction is calculated so here in option number b it is an exponential expression so it will be solved first so our correct answer here will be option number b Now 19th question study the q basic code carefully and answer the following question that follow now clear screen let b is equal to 1 1 if b is less than 40 then go to 2 let's go to 3 so 2 print b b is equal to b plus 2 go to 1 3 and what would be the q basic code print on screen so they have said b is equal to b plus 2 so if b is equal to 1 then 1 plus 2 which means 3 and uh, this will go till 40 and 1 plus 3 then 5 then 7 so these are odd numbers which means our correct answer here will be odd numbers between 1 to 40 now 20th question which of the following is slash are correct examples of the let statement so a let b is equal to 354 says this is correct now b let rate is equal to 72 uh, 75.25 now c let a dollar is equal to computer so yes, this is also correct which means our correct answer here will be option number d so if you liked our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you